Hi y'all, it's Wendy Wisdom. Did y'all catch Deja Harris drop some wisdom today? So you might have missed it trying to catch the tea. But let me just reiterate. That young lady was sent to drop some wisdom, just a sweet reminder to us all about the power of your words. I don't care if it's your mama, your daddy, your grandmama, I don't care who it is. People have to be cognizant of what they're saying to you because words have the power to create and um, destroy, build or tear down. So you have to be very mindful to guard your heart, guard your ears, guard your spirit of who you're allowing to speak life or death to you. And the thing is, Deja is a young woman, okay? And as a mental health professional, when you're dealing with people and you're trying to understand why they do certain things, and I'm talking about people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, still battling with thoughts and opinions and judgments and trauma from childhood, from when they were teenagers, okay? And so this is not something to take lightly. And keep in mind that I'm not talking about, I mean, you could have verbal abuse from flat out cursing somebody, your child out, tearing them down, to being super critical, being very negative, okay? Either way, it's all toxic. Either way, it breaks the spirit of your child. And so when she says, be careful of how you talk to your child, no matter what age they are, keep in mind that parents, you do have to grow old at some point, right? And so that resentment or that frustration they have pinned up on the inside of them, oh, you're gonna catch some of that at some point. You do know that, right? And I'm not encouraging it, but I'm just letting you know what I see with children and families, what I've seen with people who come to therapy, whenever they have that unresolved grief and have learned to hate themselves because of the verbal and emotional abuse that they have experienced from their family or their parents especially, because parents, you are the first God your child has. And I'm just gonna keep it all the way real. You parents that are out here, when you mad at daddy, mamas, and you cursing out that father or letting that child know you're going to be a deadbeat like your daddy or you're going to be lazy like your father or you're going to be a hoe like your mama, you guys are tearing your children down. It is your problem that you chose that other parent. Don't make that child suffer for what you chose. Get over it. Don't break the spirit of your children. And also, keep in mind that whenever you are taking the time to be very critical, that is also not supporting and encouraging the growth in the individuality that your child has. So we just have to be careful. Again, words are very powerful. I think Deja came to just give us a quick reminder of something that we already know. And because people are trying to catch the tea, honey, you guys missed it, but do know that young, that young lady probably had friends her age that she didn't have to encourage and esteem because their spirit's so broken or they, they may look good on the outside, I mean, full snatched, honey, but their self-esteem under a bus. And that is probably because of some unresolved childhood stuff, okay? So, you guys, I just want to encourage you all to get healed, honey, to improve the way you talk to yourself so you can improve the way you talk to your kids, honey. And that's probably why your baby daddy or baby mama ain't fooling with you. Can they see how nasty your heart and your spirit is talking all foul to children all the time? Anyway, guys, that's enough. Deja Harris, honey, you did that. God bless you, girl.